what's brought down behind that 2x equals, equals and then what's being typed in so I have 2x those threes cancel out equals you typed in your calculator 5 plus 3 what did that get you 8 from there what do I need to do divide 2 on each side so what happens to those twos what's brought down and then was 8 divided by 2 any questions there now looking at the next one I have negative 6 equals 10 X plus 14 what's the first step I need to do minus subtract 14 on both sides so what's being typed in was negative 6 minus 14 What's being brought down behind that? Five of those fourteens. What needs to happen next? So it's being typed in. Negative twenty divided by ten gets you behind that. And then what cancels out? And what's brought down? What's another way to write this? Are they both good answers? Well, I accept both. Mm -hmm. Any questions there? This is just review of two step. So if you need to write that, write that in. This is just review of two step. So example number one says, what if we had variables on both sides of the equation? So I'm going to talk through this one like I typically do so you can see all the steps and the pieces. I start off with 3x equals, well, 3x plus 2 equals 2x plus 5. It says first we want to get our variables together on one side. We need to get our variables together on one side. So I'm going to look at my smallest variable. Between 3 and 2, what's smaller? 2. two. So how would I get rid of a positive 2? by subtracting it on both sides absolutely we make the positive and negative onto both sides so what's three minus two one. so that makes one what one x. one x plus two equals what happens to those two x's cancel they cancel out and then we bring down five everybody okay with that first step from there, I need to still get x by itself because I'm left with x plus 2 equals 5. What do I need to do to get x by itself? Subtract 2 on both sides. So x is brought down. What happens to those 2's? Equals. What am I typing in? So type it in to verify. 5 minus 2. What'd you get? And then we should always check, right? So how do I check this? Because do we see an X on both sides? Yes. Yeah, so I have to type these in individually. Does that make sense? So type in this first side. I'll tell you when. So type in this first side. I'm going to do the workout to the side so you can see what's happening. Well, I could do it below it. So. What'd you get on that side? 11. 11, right? That's the work to prove it. Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Type in this other side. What'd y'all get? 11. Does 11 equal 11? Yes. That's the side work to prove it. Any questions there? Everybody good? Do we feel like we can do this pretty well? Yeah. Let's look at some practices together, okay? I'm not moving this completely off the screen. I'm just scooting it up. So if I'm looking at the first one, it says 5x plus 6 equals 2x minus 3. 5x plus 6 equals 2x minus 3. So looking at this, are my variables on both sides? Yes or no? Yes. yes. 
What are my two variable terms? Which one's smaller, five or two? Two. So how would I move a positive two? By making it negative, subtracting on both sides. Make sure you write what's being subtracted from it underneath it. Does that make sense? You see how I lined up my X terms? That's how you keep your work nice, neat, clean, and concise, okay? It's not about being perfect. It's about being legible. That's the thing. If you can't read it, you don't know how to study it, okay? So, 5 minus 2 gets you what? 3X. What comes down behind that? Plus 6. Behind that? Equals. What happens to those 2s? What's brought down? Negative 3, right? Because there's a negative sign in the front, you bring down what's in the front of it. Any questions there? Now, that looks like a two-step equation to me right there. I have 3x plus 6 equals negative 3. What's the first step I need to do to get x by itself? Negative 6, subtract 6 on both sides. I heard both of those, and they're both correct. What's being brought down? What happens to those 6s? What goes behind that? What's being typed in? So type in negative 3 minus 6, I'll tell you when. Negative 3 minus 6, I'll tell you when. What'd you get? What'd y'all get? Negative 9. Because it's negative 3 minus 6, not minus a negative 6. So what do I need to do now to get x by itself? Divide 3 on both sides. So, what happens to those threes? What's brought down? What's being typed in? Negative nine divided by three. Can we type that in? What'd y'all get? Everybody get negative three? All right, let's check this. How would I rewrite this to check it? Mm hmm So, we're typing in this first side, right? Yeah. Type that in for me, please. Jordan, make sure you're typing this in, honey. Good deal. What'd y'all get? Jordan, is that what you got? Yeah. Everybody get negative nine? Yes. The same with confidence. What y'all afraid of? Be so for real right now. What'd y'all get? Negative nine. Thank you. Type in the other side. I do it faster than y'all without the calculator. It's just a skill, you know. What'd y'all get? Does negative nine equal negative nine? Yes. So, is negative three the correct answer? You see how this one's a little bit more involved? You have to do it both sides. You have to do both sides in the calculator and see if they equal the same thing. We're used to only doing one side and saying, is this true with that one side? But now you have to do both. Does that make sense? Any questions? All you have to do is really show me this piece right here. So show me you plugging it in and show me this piece. Because you're typing this in the calculator, I should just see this and you should just see that. Does that make sense? Me showing the extra work is just showing you where it's coming from. Any questions? All right, looking at this one. We have 4x plus 5 equals 10x minus 7. What do I need to look at first? The variable terms, which are what? 4x So, what's the smallest one? 4x. So, how do I move that 4x? So we got 4x Subtract it because that's the inverse of it being positive. Going from left to right, what happens to those 4s? What's brought down? Uh-uh. 5. 5. Behind that? What's being typed in? 
10 minus 4, right? We know the x is going to come down, but what's 10 minus 4? 6. 6 what? Perfect. What comes down behind that? 7. Mm, this is something. Minus 7. Because isn't it a minus 7 right behind it? So you have to keep the minus there. That is continuity. you got to keep it, okay? So that looks like a two-step equation. I have 5 equals 6x X minus 7. What's the first thing I need to do? Add 7. Add 7 on? Seven. Perfect. What's 5 plus 7? 12. 12. What comes behind that? Equals. Then? What happens to those 7s? Absolutely. How do I get x by itself now? Divide by 6 on both sides. Beautiful explanation. What's being typed in? Which gets you? Not 6 because that's subtraction. It gets you what? 2 because you're dividing. Equals. What happens to those 6's? So what's brought down? How can I rewrite that? Are they both correct answers? How do I check it? Uh-huh. Perfect. Type in that first side, please. Stevon, did you type it in, baby? Did you type it in? Good deal. What y'all get? Absolutely. Type in the other side, please. What y'all get? 13. Does 13 equal 13? Yes. So it's to the right answer. Remember, I just need to see that first plug in and I need to see this verification at the bottom. Any questions? Any at all? Everybody good? All right. Let's do a daily grade. You do one and four. So I'm going to explain ones like two and three in a second. So you do one and four. Bring it up to me. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Starting now. You people who did struggle. That's okay to struggle. The question is, are you going to fix it? So focus up here. Jordan, really pay attention, okay? True, really pay attention. I don't like doing that, but I really like making sure those who I know are struggling are with me. I don't want to call you out, but you need to be on top of it. Y'all aren't the only ones because there were some that did not make hundreds either, but the majority did. So which means it's not the content, it's you asking questions and advocating. So please, 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 if you do not know something, you need to ask. Okay? Sir. Okay, looking at number one, I have tw 2x plus 12 equals 3x plus 3. What's the first thing I need to do? Subtract what? Subtract that 2x. The biggest mistake was most people didn't know how to start this. You have to move the variables onto one side. It says that on the steps on the front page, yes? Yes. So what happens to these 2x's? They cancel out what's brought down. 12 equals what's typed in? 3 minus, two. 3 minus 2. Which gets you? 1. one. So what's brought down? Eight. Behind that. If you got this wrong, write the work down. Write the work down. You need to be fixing what you did wrong. What sense does it make to sit and look at it? If it's wrong. Thank you. I just want that for the future people who watch this video to know that there's people in front of me who got this incorrect who weren't writing it down. As if this ain't going to appear on a test. As, this, as if this ain't going to appear on the next lesson. Come on now. What's the next step here? 
So try three on both sides. This one was very straightforward. It wasn't multiple steps there. It was two steps, honestly. It was move the variables, subtract three. So what's being typed in? Which is what? What goes behind that? Because what happens to those threes? So how can this be rewritten? Are they both good answers? Absolutely. Any questions there? All right, let's look at four. Some people got really stuck on this one. The biggest thing I saw was leave it as a fraction. I gave you full credit still if I saw the fraction and the decimal there, but leave it as a fraction because you're learning in algebra that that's the most accurate answer. Does that make sense? So I have 11 plus 7x equals 2x minus 13. What's my first step? Subtract 2x because I have to get my variable terms on one side. The 2 is the smallest one. So looking at that, What's being brought down from left to right? 11, what's being typed in? 7 minus 2, type that in please. What'd y'all get? So what should go behind this 11? Plus 5x. Behind that? What happens to those 2's? What's brought down behind that? Negative 13. From there, I'm trying to get x by itself. So what's the first step I need to do? Subtract 11. I have no reason to move that 13 at all. I have no reason to. Because I'm trying to get x by itself, which means isolating everything to the other side. So what happens to these 11s? They cancel out. What's being brought down? Behind that? What's being typed in? When you're typing in negative 13, that's how it should look. You have to click the white button, minus 11. That's how it should look in the calculator. It should not give an error if you're subtracting correctly. That means knowing your calculator and practicing on it. What did y'all get? From there, what do I need to do? Divide by 5. What happens to those 5s? What's brought down? And should I test that in the calculator? What did you get when you tested that? When you hit math one enter, what did it give you? So can this simplify any further? No. So my final answer should be x equals negative 24 over 5. Any questions there? Leave it as a fraction. Don't try to change it. Any questions? Look at number two. It's easy to say to move the smallest one when it looks like this, right? So, how would I solve this if I have 5x minus 2 equals 7x? Are my variables on one side? No. What's my smallest variable? So how do I move the 5 to that side? Subtract it, minus it. The steps don't change. But in this case, it's not about moving the smallest one. It's about moving the variable period. So, bless you. What happens to those five X's? So what's brought down? Negative two equals, what's being typed in? What's seven minus five? Two what? Perfect. Now, how do I get X by itself? Divide by two. So, what's negative 2 divided by 2? Equals, what happens to those 2's? What's brought down? What's another way to write this? Are they both still good answers? Will I accept both? So, looking at 3, what's the first step I need to move? I'm trying to get the variables on one side, right? Minus 9. We're not moving the smallest one right here. We're moving the variable, period. So I would put an asterisk next to that because this one is a special case that messes people up. You're moving the variable, period. So what happens to those nines? They cancel out. What's being brought down? Negative 12. Behind that, what's being typed in? Type in 3 minus 9 for me. Guys, focus in. Focus in. Questions like this mess people up bad, even though it shouldn't. 
So, what's 3 minus 9? Negative 6 what? How do I get x by itself here? So what's being typed in? Two negatives make a? So what should be brought down? X, because what happens to those sixes? But what does this equal? Two. How can I rewrite this? Are both acceptable answers? Any questions there? Those four are for you to do, okay? So we're going to jump in to the next lesson.